I remember being about five years old. It was a Saturday afternoon, and the making of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was on the TV. All of my friends were outside playing, but I stayed in just to watch it. Even at five years old, I was amazed at how they put this film together. It was that moment right there that started my interest in filmmaking. My name's David Rawlings, and I'm a filmmaker. I went to university to develop my skills and knowledge of the industry. Like many others before me, once I graduated, I found it quite difficult to get a job within the field. When things seemed to be looking up, they came to a screeching halt. Sadly, my mum became ill with cancer. I made the decision to dedicate my time to take care of her. She was the most important person to me, and to go off and leave her was out of the question. Eighteen months after her diagnosis, she lost her fight. Even though it was expected, nothing could prepare me for the impact of her passing. After a while, I became tired of waiting for the phone to ring or that email to arrive with the offer of work. So I decided to take matters into my own hand. I decided to make my own film. It was to be a super low-budget horror film. It may not have been the best film ever, but it was mine. Due to time constraints and being far too ambitious, I wasn't able to finish it. But it was a great experience, all the same. It was at this point that I felt I needed a boost of inspiration. I wanted to see the world. I had travelled to South Africa beforehand to do a wildlife filmmaking course, but I needed to see more. I got a teaching qualification and moved to South Korea for two years. Met people from all over the world and taught children that opened my mind and gave me a new injection of life. When I returned home, I was fueled with a passion to get back into filmmaking. I found local businesses and produced promotional videos for them, and I helped out a language school student with a film competition. All of this gave me the realization that I love filmmaking so much, but I need to learn so much more. This is why I've decided to go to film school. I can't imagine wanting to do anything else with my life.